Hey everybody, welcome back to Cyber Gray Matter. In today's video, we're going to be going over some types of tools that cybersecurity practitioners use within an organization. We'll be going vendor neutral today, and you'll have a good understanding of what each of these are by the end of the video. The tools we'll be going over are SIEM, EDR, MDR, XDR, and SOAR. Understanding these is not only important for the CompTIA Security Plus, but also because you may be using one of these solutions one day or even see them listed in a job description. Many of these solutions have overlapping details, but I've set this up to show you the main distinctions and differences for each. At the end, we'll do a brief recap where we talk about what kind of organization would use each solution. Let's get started. A theme you'll see here is visibility and being able to see a threat. The most important thing to have in your environment is visibility. How will a SOC defend against the things that you can't even see or identify? So many organizations and businesses believe that they're secure, but they're really just in the dark. Antivirus may be enough for a home user, but there are zero-day threats that are coming out daily that haven't been identified yet. So there's no real way to identify that something is wrong unless you can see the behavior in your environment in real time. That way, you can effectively respond to the alerts popping up with the proper visibility to identify that something is wrong. And that's what tools like these are designed to do. Let's start with the SIEM. The SIEM stands for Security Information and Event Management and is one of the most traditional but important security tools in a network that helps the security professionals identify an event that happens in the environment. A SIEM combines both a SIM, or Security Information Management, and a SEM, or Security Event Manager. It will pull from all endpoints, security tools, network events, and sometimes cloud data. Again, this is about visibility and allows the security team to see everything that's going on through a single tool. An event is anything that occurs within a network, but not all events are necessarily bad or considered alerts. The events are then collected in the form of logs and are organized into something meaningful. They will then be analyzed and then escalated into an alert based on a rule set and triggers. When an event hits a specific threshold, an alert is created. This alert tells a security team that something has happened that needs to be investigated and to determine whether it's a legitimate cause for concern. Not all seams are the same. And there are things such as modern or next-gen seams that also have advanced threat detection that traditional seams don't have. They also operate closer to a SOAR tool, that of which we'll discuss later. Next is EDR. EDR is very similar to SIEM in the way that it monitors for specific activity, but the main focus is on endpoints, such as computers, tablets, servers, and things like this. EDR stands for Endpoint Detection and Response and can protect against malware threats, ransomware, and also fileless attacks that may use scripts. This is done through agents downloaded onto the endpoints. EDR gives a much more robust protection than SIEM because it can detect against things based upon behavior versus something like regular antivirus that will just use things like signature-based detection. EDR can complement SIEM, while EDR acts as another log source for the SIEM. EDR is not only there to investigate new threats, but it can also remediate them by using endpoint data and also provide manual and automated tools that can stop malicious activity. Next is XDR. XDR is fairly new and has similar goals to SOAR, but there are some differences. XDR stands for Extended Detection and Response and collects and correlates data through security layers. XDR typically involves the use of a single vendor. XDR aims to extend the EDR capabilities in order to protect more than just endpoints, hence the word extend. It aims to increase the visibility across the network to detect advanced threats. This visibility includes all endpoints, users, cloud, email, data, and really any asset. XDR has advanced threats and hunting capabilities that can track threats across a whole organization and help with investigations. In simple form, XDR ingests data from all endpoints, detects by parsing through the data to identify threats, and responds to prioritized threat data. Moving on, we have MDR. MDR stands for Managed Detection and Response, and this is a cybersecurity service that brings together both the detection tool and specialized security staff. This is beneficial because an organization that doesn't have the resources can't get access to 24-7 coverage. The main capabilities of MDR are the ability for prioritization of alerts and determining which ones are important. This is done by sifting through alerts in order to create automation rules and produce alerts that better reflect real threats instead of false positives. There is a human element that is required to properly threat hunt, and MDR provides that with the security staff. Help with investigations and breaking down what occurred is included, along with guided response and advising on threat elimination and attack recovery. Finally, remediation assistance is incredibly important. 
and helps bring things back to the original pre-attack state by cleaning up the damage and assuring things are back to the way they were before. Lastly, we have Soar, which is a full platform in itself, and it's used to manage SOC teams with higher levels of sophistication and skill. It's designed to help with efficiency and to automate tasks and prioritize alerts based on the importance of security events. Along with that, it also manages threats, and it can also manage vulnerabilities. The platform can be integrated with various security products. The orchestration side of SOAR is how all of the security tool information and data is consolidated into one system. This includes things like SIEM, EDR, firewall, and threat intelligence feeds. The automation side involves playbooks, which are essentially guides that are built in workflows that can respond to alerts. Automation needs to be something repeatable and something that is well documented. This means that the result needs to already be known and expected. If you're automating things that haven't been done before, the results won't be expected, making the possibility of error to occur. These workflows will be in the form of a flowchart with highly sophisticated incident response in order to make extremely swift decisions. An example of automation for this would be setting up something to check a file's reputation in VirusTotal. If done correctly, a source solution can be an incredible tool that frees up an analyst's time and creates a more effective team that's not overwhelmed with loads of alerts, ultimately delivering faster results. Finally, the response side of SOAR involves things around post-incident with reporting and case management. This allows analysts to perform additional research and make assessments within a case. How are multiple tools beneficial? If you watched my other video on defense in depth, you might remember that a layered approach is best for security. Having more tools and different defenses hardens the network. Having a SIEM solution is very important, and EDR is as well, but having both is that much better. An organization may have more than one of these tools to harden their security, and things like SOAR are designed to work with other tools. So let's compare and contrast. All organizations need a SIEM that will collect and send alerts to security personnel. Having that visibility in logs of events can help trace things and aid in investigations. It's always good to have logs. An organization may choose EDR if they already have an InfoSec team that has the ability to respond to alerts and wants to continue to build a good security posture. MDR may be better in an organization with the needs for protection that doesn't have the capability to respond to alerts or even remediate threats with established tools. With MDR, they won't have to search or hire specialized personnel. XDR is good for an organization that deals with alert fatigue and issues with response time across multiple domains with the additional need for threat hunting, analysis, and investigations. They may have the need for cross-domain correlation and cloud-based ingestion. XDR is similar to SIEM and SOAR, but it takes a different approach. Many vendors who offer XDR solutions will often also offer SOAR. And lastly, SOAR. It's good, but it needs to have other tools connected to it and picks up on the things that XDR lacks, but they also work together. It doesn't protect on its own, but it's very valuable. Like XDR, this is good for an organization that's dealing with alert fatigue and needs to automate the simpler tasks. SOAR will need threat feeds from the SIEM and would benefit from an EDR or XDR solution. And that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching, and I really appreciate everyone who has subscribed and left a like on previous videos. Please leave any questions, critiques, or ideas for things you'd like me to cover next in the comments below. I hope everyone has a great day, and thanks!